hello guys welcome to this video and today we'll be showing you how to develop the game that we showed earlier uh, in the same uh, series in the beginning of the series so today i'll be showing you how to import the assets image assets for this project and um, as you can see i have my assets in the background so these are the four things that i will be using a background a bullet a mm, uh, fish and another um, fish um, this is our enemy and this is our player so here you can name the project first click new as in in, um, in the unity folder open unity and click new and then you will get this uh, window here and you can type the project name so i'll just say fish for it and um, then you can give the location here so you can choose the 2d or 3d preset so the, what this basically does is make unity suitable for 2d or 3d game development as you wish so this is a 2d game and therefore we'll be choosing the 2d um, icon or we will be choosing the 2d platform here and once we create click create project so um, it will take some time maybe one two seconds for you need to open depending upon your uh, project um, and processor settings and things like that so um, my unity is opening so it should be opening and um, as unity is opening so i will uh, tell you what these uh, four images are for for so this first image here is a background uh, for our game so what we'll be doing is moving the same background uh, for a um, number of times uh, so that our fish can uh, rotate and um, okay, sorry our fish can move in that environment and this uh, enemy fish can come and attack our players as i say as i showed in the earlier video and this is a bullet which this um, our player fish um, can shoot at the enemies so this is unity open here and uh, this um, if you see that kind of error you can just ignore this and then and this is um, the scene window here this is hierarchy hierarchy panel and this is the game panel here game view here and this is the project uh, project window here and this is the inspector so we do not need extra tabs like lightning and other things we do not need animation and we do not need animator window too so in the 2d preset first thing you can see here in the hierarchy is main camera so everything that we do is positioned inside the main camera and the properties of main camera can be seen detailed in the inspector view here so we do not have any assets so the project window shows assets here and this everything that you need for the game are placed inside the assets folder so let's quickly create a folder in assets right click create folder or and rename it to okay let me say images for now and images and you can mm, just double click here and this will open so what we can do is just drag these all four images into unity assets folder just drag it here like this and these four images will be imported to assets folder in uh, images folder inside assets so if you click inside uh, click one of these things here one of these um, images that we import you can see the properties here and it says it is a sprite so it what what it basically means is uh, that the texture that we just imported would be used as a sprite so sprite is an entity for 2d and uh, 2d and ui development uh, set by unity and these all four are sprites so for the beginning of the game we want our background to be placed just right here in the hierarchy panel just drag the background to hierarchy so you can see a basic uh, background evolves uh, in the game view so game view shows what the user can see through the user uh, user's view and here are five tools in unity that is frequently used to resize relocate rotate and um, then position the images so first thing we need to do is scale so that this image fits in the four uh, all four directions uh, in the user's screen so 
once we click the image here we can press the T key in keyboard or the fifth um, fifth uh, icon here to just resize the image and resize it just like that and same to this direction and here and here so it should not be done with the image it should it is not compulsory that uh, you follow the same background as we are setting but um these things are necessary as um, our scripts are based on how we perform these things so this is the background this is a simple background for um, the player to move and now just drag this um, fish to the shin and just let me just decrease its size because it's it looks too big uh, in the camera uh, in the view and let's say it starts here and that can be done with the second icon here or with the same icon and just click and um, move it or drag it to the different areas of the screen so i just leave it here and you can see that the sprite render component is present in hero fish and background so if you choose change the color of this thing then as you can see the uh, this color you choose will be mixed up with the color that was already present in the background so places that were green uh, and um, blue uh, changes to black and uh, maybe blackish grayish type thing um, and then those with um, white colors were changed to red or the color that i selected here so if i select blue and so then that thing will be blue there so let's just reset to white and this should be just fine so this is what uh, we need to do for now and in the later part of the video in other videos we'll see how to getting started get started with the player movement for this fish and how to um, how to position the enemy fish that is here so let me just quick rename to enemy fish because um, okay enemy e and e m y enemy fish okay this is an enemy fish here and let me just say this is a hero fish okay so this bullet and enemy fish would be required in the later part of the video so make sure you download these assets from the uh, link below in the description in the description and i'll see you later in